I am joined now by Reverend Mariama White Hammond. She is the Chief Environment and Energy out Open Space for the City of Boston. You made it through the stickies already out there. It is hot. <laughs> You're hosting a panel later this afternoon all about climate change. Why is this particularly important um, in the black community? Well, I mean, as you can see today, it's really hot here and really throughout the country. This is an issue that's touching so many black communities. And it's not just that we live in areas that are warming, that's, that's very real, mm -hmm. but it's also that because of historical decisions, racist, racist decisions about where we plant trees, about where we put open space, about um, where we invest in things like air conditioning, those decisions mean that even though many of our communities are suffering under sweltering heat, they don't have the resources they need to adapt and thrive. It's, it's very places. obvious. You go to some community, Seaport, lots of tree space, mm -hmm. lots of greenery, other neighborhoods, more urban. Yeah. You don't have that greenery on the media. Lots of um, concrete. Lots, lots of concrete, and that radiates the heat. Exactly. What are the next steps to improving the health condition? Yeah, so here in the city of, the, of Boston, the first thing we did was really take an opportunity to look at that. Where are we having serious heat? We mapped it. We found that we had neighborhoods where you could have 10 to 12 degree differences oh, because of these realities. But then we said, what are we going to do about it? And so we've been working on a plan to really increase our tree canopy and focus those in the neighborhoods where we haven't done the work in the past. What's probably most exciting to me mm -hmm. is a program that we created last year called Power Corps, which trains young adults of color, 18 to 30, um, from neighborhoods like Roxbury and Mattapan and Dorchester in urban forestry. Mm -hmm. And so not only are we going to be improving those communities, but it's going to be done by young people who grew up and live in those And those are our future leaders. Thank you they so much are. for being a voice on this very important conversation. And it's so important that it's part of the NAACP convention. We're glad to be here. Spreading the word. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.